so what we basically have is a patient presented with a headache and we have a large lesions one based in the fox cerebri and projected towards the right occipital region and another one near the right frontal region both of them are hyperdense and having a specks of calcification within at the same time if you see very carefully uh, which is the thing i missed uh, was the hyperostosis and uh, you can see here at the right frontal region which is present here all right then now let us look at the post contrast image now based on only on that you could form um, nice differentials one of them high on uh, the ranking would be meningioma rather i don't think we will need a contrast in this case because there is calcification there is hyperostosis pretty much they are extraaxial so meningioma is the first one uh, on contrast it will you will just see the enhancement pattern which will be uh, hyper enhancing because it's extraaxial outside the blood brain barrier so there we go what the contrast would be useful hypothetically is to see smaller meningiomas uh, to rule out meningiomatosis for example i guess in nf2 uh, i need to read i think schwannoma meningioma is it nf2 wow you really forgot about it nf2 this is the uh, meningiomatosis yeah so yes they have uh, mise syndrome where you have multiple inherited schwannomas and meningiomas okay uh, which genetic mutation it is and if to a merlin gene uh, all right all right all right okay so it's on chromosome 22 got it merlin was it merlin the name in shazan the name of the sorcerer i don't know anyway so pretty much yeah it means just a diagnosis what would be the other differential if it is just a hyperdense thing maybe just maybe lymphoma or metastasis would be other differentials but calcification hyperostosis yeah pretty much meningioma all right thank you have a nice day